Jesus Christ. Hi, chat. Hi, chat. Are you okay? No. <laughs> Hi, chat. How are you doing? Let's just start with that first, shall we? How are you doing, chat? Um, as you can probably tell by my face, I'm an ugly motherfucker right now, right? Um, I've had a long day, chat. <laughs> I've had a fucking long day. I am so tired. Oh my god, I, I never take a media course. Whatever you do, never, never. I beg of the chat, never take a fucking media course. You know what, just don't go into the industry. If you're thinking about it, don't. <laughs> my neck looks thick. Is that just me? My neck looks really thick. Jesus Christ. Rocky, I'm okay. I guess I was stressed. I had an exam. Oh, no. <laughs> Not an exam, to be fair. It, it, it could, it, it, my, my day could have had an exam. And I think that would have, I think that would have topped me, to be honest. <laughs> like, I, that is something about the media course. That is the only thing that I like, that I don't have to take exams. But the coursework does this to me. It does this to my little face. I have one tomorrow. Oh, God. Oh, God. Blue. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear it, man. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm sure you'll be fine and you'll ace your exams and shit. And you'll do really slow. Because, to be fair, sorry I had to go put my pyjamas on real quick. Hey, pyjama gang, look at my pyjamas. These are my comfort PJs, by the way. Not the top, but these trousers. Bro, what happened after Raki got bumped by the chair? Me complaining and um, Blue being upset about exams. Crying, screaming, down on floor. It do be like that. It do be like that. Pajamas duo. Oh, my God. Can we be the pajamas duo, Luffy? Can we please? Can we please be the pajama duo? I'd really like that. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. But, um... Norton VPN, fuck off! I'm not in the mood, bro. Yeah, chat. I've had a fucking awful day i mean i say right basically if you didn't know what i was doing today we need fan art of us in pajamas oh my god yes yes definitely definitely yes anyone out there please please but um yeah basically if you didn't know i um i had a shoot today right i had a shoot i'm acting in a short film that my friend is doing and um it's basically The Last of Us, and I'm Ellie, and the the main character is Joel. That is basically what it is, if you if you want to know. Um, and I'll probably promote it for my friends and, and stuff like that. And it's a pretty cool concept and shit. But I didn't know that I had to be fucking thrown on the floor and fucking, like, beating people up. Like, I know I had to beat someone up and possibly fall on the ground but i didn't know how much i'd have to throw myself on my back and be pushed around and grabbed and tossed bro i've got bruises i have bruises they're only tiny like but they're, they're bruises that's for sure because one of the guys right the evil guy the mean guy in the in the in the film sorry if it's laggy by the way I tried fixing it at the start of the stream and it keeps dropping every now and then. I think it's because my PC needs updating, but I can't be fucking asked. So I'm sorry about that. But yeah, the main the 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 main villain, right? The main villain, hold on. The main villain, um the the actual guy like that was acting him is fucking violent. Like motherfucker like I, he didn't mean it obviously he did not mean it by the way i've never met these actors before i've never met anyone on that set before apart from my friend the teacher that was there well teacher the teacher that was there and one other person i knew three people on the set and everyone else i had no idea who they were i had no idea who they were i've never spoken to them in my whole life including the actors right so I doubt the, the, the guy that was like grabbing me and stuff was meant to hurt me because why why would you hurt someone that you don't know? Um, 
but he was gra he grabbed me like on my arms like this because he basically grabs me from the back well he he did he grabbed me from the back and has me in like a chokehold like that and then i stomp on his foot and turn around and kick him in the balls right that's the combat that was the combat scene and we changed it a bunch of times so this is why i kind of got hurt because i was constantly maybe he thought you were cute i mean he has a girlfriend <laughs> so and to be honest i'm not looking cute right now i'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you but um no he has a girlfriend I, I, f I found that out because he ran away to try and find his girlfriend in the woods because she got lost. <laughs> she got she looked hella cool though. She looked hella cool. I came round to see her. She had like the, the blue like hair, like really short hair with like fishnet shit coming down and like oh my god, she looked sick. She looked sick. And she looked at me like Like we we, we had a little agreement that we, we were the cool ones there. Did you know the reason why we uh, why we want to hug and squeeze puppies is because we find them so cute that we want to rid them of their existence. It's a thing our brains do when cute things. That's why sometimes brains go violent when cute or wholesome. I doubt that that was the situation. I think he just didn't know his own strength, bless him. Like, basically, um, the guy, the main guy, who's basically Joel of the situation, um... He basically comes and punches this fucking villain guy after I've done with him, alright? He goes, PA! And this motherfucker that gets punched flies up in the air. I wish I was kidding. He goes, Vroom! You know? And he fucking spins in the air like a rugby ball. Like, motherfucker. Like, so I I'm guessing he just didn't know his own strength. And I have quite a low pain tolerance anyway um so he probably literally wasn't being harmful anyway um but yeah he basically like there was there was a part that he came behind me and picked me up because i was on the floor he pushed me on the floor and then he picks me up to take me away right and um he basically grabbed me from behind with my arms so like had both arms here and picked me up like that and he dug his nails into me and I've literally got, you You probably, I don't know, where did they go? Because they're very tiny. But I've basically got like purple spots here from where he's dug his nails into me. So that was a lovely introduction to that guy. I never met him in my entire life and he's given me a bruise. So that was great. That was really fun. That was really fun. And he's given me a bad back because he threw it, to be fair, to be fair, I'm not blaming him at all because I did tell him to be rough with me. Right, now, now, now don't take it that way. But I did tell him to push me because he was like, I'll pretend to push you and you can fall back if you want. And I was like, no, actually push me because then I, I have a force to go back with. I, I, I feel like I've, I, I can make it look real. Um, because even though I've got a low pain tolerance, I was like, no, literally fuck me up, bro. <laughs> like do it like actually fuck me up because then it, it makes me it makes it look real like when he picked me up by like the front and like it hurt my back obviously i make the noise of it uh, you know what i mean so it makes it look real it makes it sound real Rafi, this guy he's basically joel me who hasn't watched up oh, okay um basically it's right okay joel you wait do you not know the characters do you not know the characters? I, okay. Basically, it's um, Joel and Ellie is basically a, a father-daughter like dynamic, but they're not actually father or daughter because Joel lost his daughter um, during like when when the zombie apocalypse began. Um, is it the guy you like, the Pedro guy? Yes. Yes, well, not in the game, it's not Pedro, but in the show, it's Pedro, all right? In the show, it's Pedro, um, but yes, 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 yes. Um, and his daughter gets shot, sorry, spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> his daughter gets shot uh, at the beginning of the zombie apocalypse. So he goes on with his day and then gets given Ellie uh, as cargo because Ellie is the cure to the zombie apocalypse, basically. Uh, all, like always say you know always say right 
and um, or they so believe that she's the she's the um, the cure for the zombie apocalypse because she gets bitten and she doesn't die. She doesn't turn into a zombie. No, she just has a little mark on her neck, on her neck, on her arm, and it's cool and shit. Um, and then um, Joel takes Ellie throughout all of this shit, and they go through loads of stuff together, and like they become like really close, and it's so cute. And then oh my god, it's so emotional. Um, so that's basically our dynamic. Even though it's less, I think in the in the short film that my friend is doing, um, James, I think it's more of a a brother sister dynamic rather than a father and daughter because the guy is he's literally the same age as me so he doesn't look much older than me ah! i mean the height difference yeah so it, like i guess it's more of like a brother sister sort of thing because yeah oh my god i know james that's the bell guy yeah yeah it's to be fair by what i've seen james has done a fantastic job uh today i'm just in a lot of pain <laughs> I'm just in a lot of pain. I'm very tired because I'm very overstimulated because I had people grabbing me the entire time. Uh, yo! What the fuck? I was like, what is that noise? Hello, Azriel. Hello, Azriel. Thank you. I I'm guessing that was Luffy. I'm guessing that was Luffy. Yo, hold on, hold on. I look, I'm very tight boobies. <laughs> the tatties, oh my God. The tatties. Hold on, I'm very um tired today, so you gotta you're gonna have to bear with me. But hello, Asriel. Hello, Raiders from Asriel. How are you doing, Luffy? I think that was you that did the shout out, but I'm doing that one too. You played Minecraft. How was your stream? And also, I don't know how to fucking say your name. <laughs> Click, clicks, Ray. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for the follow. I pre. Yo, we're ten away from three fifty. Yo, Matho! Hi, Matho! Hello, Matho! How are you doing? I hope you're doing good, uh, as real raiders. I hope you're doing slay. Um, you can call me Rainy. Okay, I'll call you Rainy. <laughs> I will try and remember. I will try and remember. We're basically just having a chill back thing because I'm very, very tired. I was basically in a short film today. Uh, I was in an I was an actor in a short film and um, I was basically thrown around. I've been given bruises, like actual bruises. I was in battle, guys. Um, I, I kicked a guy in the balls, bro. That's was very smelly. Oh, Azriel, you need to bathe, bro. You need to shower, bro. That's not good. That's not good. No, I don't know your chat's, your chat's saying you're smelly. I kind of got to believe. Raku was spoiling the last one. I wasn't spoiling. It's what you write at the beginning that she dies. Bro. Damn, as you smell. Yeah, as you, I can smell you from here, bro. Oh, my God. I can smell you from here. I can smell you from here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I haven't watched any of it. Yeah, but it's like right at the beginning of the fucking game. I've avoided spoilers for years, but it's like right. I haven't. I barely spoiled any of the good shit. I could spoil the like really like heart throbbing thing. I could really spoil the most heart throbbing, heartbreaking thing. That's still spoil. It's not. It's literally what drives the character. I was gonna put. Were you actually though? It's one spoiler that happens in like the first 15 minutes of the fucking game, Luffy. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You will be fine. You will be fine, okay? You said that you didn't know who Joel and Ellie is. And I was like, okay, I'll tell you. I was explaining the daughter and father dynamic. Okay? And how it's important Now you gotta sit in a VC with me when I play it. Okay, so I'll spoil it for you. I'll be like, you might wanna watch out for this part. You might wanna you might wanna turn around this corner. You might you might what right, okay, I don't know what colour boobs are. Sorry, I've never seen them. I've ne no, that's a lie. What colour are boobs, chat? What would you say is the colour of boobs? What would you say sums boobs up? What would you say? 
I gotta know. I gotta know. Me personally, purple. But who knows? Green? Then green. Yo! Luffy! Thank you so much for the gift. It's so. Thank you. Hold on. Ugh. Oh my god. Change fucking color, you swine. There we go. They're green. They're green. That's what you get. Ugh. Oh my god. I appreciate it though, Luffy. I swear, right, I swear on my life, I don't know how you avo avoided the spoiler that I, well, the spoiler that I gave you, okay? I don't know how you've avoided that. To be fair, I don't know how you've avoided any spoilers that The Last of Us has, because it's such a fucking big game and everyone cries about it. Everyone's like, ah! you know, like, everyone's like, ah! <laughs> you know? I'm very good at avoiding spoilers. To be fair, I've been getting good at avoiding spoilers for Marvel. And, like, Marvel fans are fucking bitches. They spoil everything as soon as it comes out. And I'm like, boom, boom. Bro, I'm out of the Matrix. So I'm like, boom. You know, like, I'm sick. I'm so good at avoiding Marvel spoilers. Everything else, though, I'm shit. I'm shit. Green boobies. Fiona. Fiona. Bro. <laughs> I'm wasting all of my energy. Also, Asriel enjoyers. I swear on my life I don't usually look this bad. I <laughs> I had a full my makeup was amazing today, but I literally came home from the shoot and I was like, no, I'm taking this shit off because I was sweating ass. I'm pretty sure I still have tree sap and acorns in my hair from falling on the fucking ground. Bro. I didn't know anything about Undertale until how? Rocky's, Rocky's lying. He always looks as smelly. No! <laughs> to be fair, there was a fucking stream that I looked so bad in. And I've never looked worse. I've never... And it was the day that I, like, returned back to streaming after, like, my hiatus. Like, and I came back from streaming and I looked sweaty. I looked greasy. I looked miserable. It was... Uh, Oh my god, I'm gonna burp. Bro, it was that, it was that much I, I, I fucking, I fucking died. I fucking... Bro. Bro. Bro, I've got a fucking itchy ass leg. What else did, what else happened on fucking set? I feel like, oh yeah, the teacher that was there. He was lovely. He was, I mean, I, I've, I've met him before, like, um, but he's lovely. And I don't know if it's because he's actually lovely or he's just doing his job well. You know what I mean? Because teachers are fucking horrible. Like, teachers are fucking grim and mean and horrible. But he was like, it's okay, darling. It's okay, darling. You know? He was like, babes. No, you don't call me babes. That would be weird. That would be quite frankly weird. That, that would be a little bit weird, not gonna lie. If you follow Raki, then he's going to do a manhunt with me. Totally true, not clickbait. I, that is not true. That is not true. Unfortunately, though, follower goals don't actually do anything, you know? It's just like a follower goal. Like, there, nothing happens once we hit it. I just, it makes me feel happy. It makes a big old smile on my face. That's what happens. That's what you get. <laughs> That's what you get. That's, oh, okay, I've hurt Luffy's feelings, so they're lurking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Luffy, okay? Okay, I, I was thinking of doing a stream where you teach me how to PvP. Not a manhunt, but teach me how to PvP. I think this would be a great stream for you, and you're not listening to me. <laughs> I think it would be a great stream for you. Like... Teaching my friends how to PvP. Teaching my friends how to be good at Minecraft. You know what I mean? Bro, you know that fucking... Oh my god. You know um, Nikki Naichu? Like, ages ago. Like, fucking... My, my, fucking centuries ago. Did this hardcore series. And they'd invite their friends onto their hardcore world. Like, and it would be like a friend. Like, every episode. She's so pretty. She is. She is. I aspire, She taught me how to do my makeup. I was like... You know, I think that makeup will look good on my face. So I'm going to do that. And then I did the big eyeliner that goes straight across with like the freckles. And I was like, I look pretty. I look pretty. So I thank Nick, Nick, Nikki Naichi for that. I thank Nikki for inspiring me to wear eyeliner. And now I can't wear it without, without, I, I feel ugly without it. I feel ugly. I, I feel, actually, no, I don't. I just feel ugly right now. 
I just feel I just I'm mean, man I'm so gay for for night you so so <gasps> did you see that fucking James Mario finally gave in to the schnitzel thing you look good don't worry <laughs> honey I don't know what to tell you but I do not <laughs> I do not <laughs> fucking hell if I look good now then I look perfect on other days Jesus fucking Christ this is why you tell me that I look bad on my other days Jesus Christ Jesus Christ. I appreciate it though. I appreciate it, but you look like a streamer, you know. I think that's an insult. <laughs> I think that's an insult. <laughs> she could kiss my cheek, and I'd be like, okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm not Arrow. I'm, I'm Demi. I love that. You should have seen Raki with the Joker makeup. Now that was a look. Oh my god. I can't tell if I looked good in the Joker shit or not. I can't tell if I looked good in it or not. I really do, do want to like act in like a spin-off of the Joker, but I feel like I'd embarrass myself so fucking much. Like, I really want to play a female Joker. You know what I mean? Like, when's the female Joker coming along? I don't see her and it's upsetting me. It's quite fun. I, I think I have the Joker on my Instagram. I do, but it's not very good pictures. Never mind then. Never mind then. Never mind then. But yeah, chat, chat, oh my god, wait, do you remember last stream when I said that I'll show you my Loki horns and I never did? Do you want me to show you now? I can show you now if you want. This is where you will say no and I start crying. Chat. <laughs> chat, what else was I going to show you? I felt like it was Loki horns and something else, but I can't remember what the other thing was, so I apologise for that. But I remember last stream, I think it was the Google Form stream, and I was like, oh my god, yeah, I have Loki horns, I should show you guys. And then, and then you all went, yeah, and then I never did. And then I never did. I never did. But chat, what else happened? Boob, uh, that's not an answer. <laughs> That's not, do, okay, Dr. Order, right, no, 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 because I, I'm, I, d right, okay, I will, I will probably cry if this starts again. I will probably lay on the floor, you see the floor? You see the floor? I will probably lie on it and start sobbing, okay? <laughs> but I appreciate the gift of sob. I am so fucking tired, I can't comprehend even fucking shit. I feel like I'm in a fever dream. Chat, do you ever get like that? I love laying on the floor. It it does feel nice. It does feel nice. But chat, do you ever feel like that? Where it's like, you know, <laughs> where you're so tired, it feels like you're in a dream and you feel very floaty. That's what I feel like. Maybe I'm high. I don't know. Maybe I'm high. But anyways, Dr. Order, thank you so much for the gift of sub. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very, very much. And I appreciate the, the last stream as well and what, and what you did for the last stream because that, that genuinely made my night. That genuinely... I, I went to my mum and I was like, Mum! Mum! <laughs> and she was like, Yippee! Yippee! <laughs> That's me every morning, yo. It's... I can't tell if it's a good or bad feeling. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you for the hydrate. I appreciate it. To be fair, I do need to hydrate a lot more because I I came off set today and I was like, Ugh! I was like, she fucking dying. We saw a horse just out of no, the horse just came out of the woods and we were like, what? What the fuck? What is this horse doing here? Whose horse is that? <coughs> Sorry. You can feel kind of high without drugs. It's not a bad thing. I mean, yeah, because I, I think that's what people say when you smell too much, um petrol or gasoline is it petrol why was it a cow i did see cows on the way cows are lovely your sub badges are so cool thank you thank you i made them myself <laughs> i made them myself i've got a skeleton theme going on i don't know why i'm attracted to skeletons i just am because in minecraft i fucking hate the fuckers the shit the awful i want to you know i want to spark them out i want to kill them i hate skeletons in minecraft the little bony boys i hate them you can get it with paint too uh when my friend did the, their gcse final they felt hype on paint <gasps> that is a forgotten fucking memory because i did gcse art as well and like when when the finals came around because obviously it's like a 
instead of an actual exam. I think you do still take an exam. I can't remember. It's been so fucking long and I can't. Honestly, I removed it from my brain cells. But I know that there's like, um, I think it's like an eight hour exam where like you're doing your final piece and like you can eat paint. No, don't eat the paint. No, 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 no. Don't eat the paint. <laughs> when we were all doing our final pieces like it's sad no don't eat that either don't oh my god no imagine getting it between your teeth no 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 oh god no no ah oh no i hate it i hate the thought of it no i hate that i hate that i have a lot of pain but no sad don't eat the pain we mean when, like, you inhale the scent so much, it can make you a bit like, woo, you know. Wilbur told me to, not my fault. Right, now I know Wilbur is a brilliant man. He he has a daughter egg thing called Tallulah. He's a very sweet dad, you know. Dilf, no. <laughs> I don't know if that's against his boundaries. <laughs> James! I was just talking about how miserable I am from your set. No, not. <laughs> that sounds really bad. How injured I am from your set. And how how much it's making me sad and tired. You know? Paint sounds delicious though. To be fair, I can imagine the creamy textures. You know what I mean? The creamy textures. Each colour represents a flavour. Like blue. Blueberry. You know? Pink. Fucking. What's pink? Candy floss. Yeah? <laughs> oh my god, I love Tallulah. She's the best. Me too. Me too. I love Tallulah too. And she is the best. She is the best. If anything happens, bro, you got launched. I did. I literally got thrown onto my fucking backside and it hurt. It hurt. It hurt. It was okay, like, the first two times. I mean, it wasn't actually. Literally, the guy pushed me onto my back. And I literally fell to the ground and went... <coughs> Because I got, like, winded. Like, my fucking ribs, like, shot up into my fucking... Uh, bro. Bro. You should never have to do that again. Next time you're on set, it'll be a lot safer. Bro. Bro, you have no idea. Bro, we did it... We did it 50... I got thrown onto my back 15 times. I got thrown onto my back 15 times. I keep hiccuping. This has shocked me that the hiccups have come out. No, don't go eat paint. No. Yeah? What about the fight scene? How many takes does that take? Or is this the fight scene with... Oh, I don't fucking know. I've, I've lost all memory of today, to be honest. I've lost all memory of today. Not even gonna lie to you. To be fair, the place that we shot, at least I fell onto my back onto moss. Like, even though there was a lot of, like, branches and acorns and it still fucking hurt. It was um, all moss, and it was actually really nice. It was very cushiony, but it still fucking hurt. <laughs> it still really, really hurt. Guys, don't be an actor. This is why they have stunt doubles, because fuck me, my back. My my back is bad as it is because I have gamer posture, and then um, my back is also bad because I crack it 24-7. Like, I, I fucking proper, like, spin myself around in my bed. Like, I literally shoot up in my bed. And like, basically what I do, I put my, my knees up here. What the fuck, they're ripping. I put my knees up and then I put my arm here and then I twist. Bro, a chiropractor told me that on TikTok, which probably still isn't safe to learn shit off like, uh, off TikTok, but I do not care, okay? I don't fucking care, all right? All right, all right, yo! I feel like I've came into a film shoot chat. To be fair, we are talking about how much I wanted to cry. <laughs> We're talking about how much I wanted to cry. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Me and the cheerleader tried to make it as safe as possible. And I still fucking died. You know? I still fucking... I still broke my back and got bruises. I still... I still got bruises, didn't I? So you can't have been that fucking safe. Wanker. Well, M was gonna be your stunt... Okay, how can M be my stunt double? I've got... Fucking, well, it's going brown now. I was about to say black. But brown, black, 
poofy fucking curly hair and M's got a fucking Karen haircut that is red, bright tampon red. And you're telling me M was supposed to be my fucking... Bro, bro, what are you chatting? Where is the... Apart from the fucking same height, bro, bro. Yeah, but, but pain is funny sometimes, content. That is true. That is true. I do want to get a clip from uh, from from James where I land on my ass. <laughs> where I just get fucking thrown. Bro, don't eat pain. Did you eat pain? <laughs> Why? Why did you do that? I, I know it looks delicious and slay, but no. <laughs> But no, no, maybe, no! Bruises, where was the, that is true, where was the risk assessment? Literally, the, the, the guy, obviously I can't name names, but the guy that was evil, the like main bad guy, when he grabbed me on like my arms, he literally like clawed into my arms and I have like dots, like little specks of where it's bruised. Technically it's non-toxic, well, Britney Spears doesn't think so, okay? It was pink, it looked like cotton candy. Oh my god, I should have never said that pink was cotton candy. I am, I, that's my fault. I'm such a responsible streamer. I, I'm so responsible for your health right now. I'm so responsible. Holy fucking shit. My friend ate McDonald's crayons because he said he needed to test that they are non-toxic. The logic behind that is fucking baffling. <laughs> the fucking logic. Can't, I can't comprehend it. It's too big brain for me. It's too big brain. Safer casting in the future. True. <laughs> true, true. Hey, hello, Fraction. Hello, hello. It's been a while, I believe. It's been a while, but hello, hello. It's been a while. Yes, it has. <laughs> yes, it has. Fuck off, Norton. Sorry if someone's called Norton. I don't. I don't mean it. You. I. I mean the VPN that keeps popping up on my thing, even though I've literally fucking bought it, bro. The risk assessment is existent as my location agreement. Fuck your mum, James. How about that? I. I fucked her last night. How about fuck off, Norton? I get it. Status update. I don't give a fucking flying fuck. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. I. I kind of. <laughs> I got, I got a little bit, I got a little bit frustrated there. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know who I am. Okay, I get a little bit quirky at night. Okay, it's literally broad fucking daylight, but I do not care. I do not care. Okay, not existent then, James. Precisely. Yeah, my friend then got him a huge tub of sixty cranes for his birthday. Did your friend eat them? No, that's what I want to know. Did your friend eat them? That's the most important thing about this. Or, Lord Twitch Crash, it weren't me. It weren't me, okay? It weren't me, because it was at the beginning. My shit fucking went down and it was awful. It was fucking awful. Makes the shoot more exciting. That is illegal. I mean, to be fair, it's a public woods. Who's gonna fucking find you and kidnap you? Literally no one literally no one okay it's ki kidnapping a rock illegal i don't know maybe <laughs> you might have to ask the government about that james what would the bearded vegan say <laughs> is that is that his name the bearded vegan it's like the bearded dragon but the bearded vegan you know no i mean on my phone like the app oh I thought you meant me, and I was like, it ain't me, all right? It ain't me. It fucking ain't me, all right? Chill, chill out, all right? Usually, usually I own up when, when my, my Twitch crashes and shit, and it's not very nice or slay. It's very shit. You'd be like, that isn't fantastic of you. It's not very fantastic. For legal reasons, I cannot disclose the bearded vegan's name. For, 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 for real, for real, for real, for real. Thank you for the hydrate. Chat, have you ever thought that 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 orange juice kind of smells like piss in a way? Like after it sits in your room for a while, it kind of smells like piss. Is that just me? 
<laughs> like, is that... Am I the only one that thinks that when it sits in your room for a while and it starts getting to, like, room temperature, it fucking reeks. It smells like shit. And I guess it's because it's, like, a fruit or some shit. I don't fucking know. But it's, 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 ho it's horrible. That's because it's orange juice piss. That is true. That might be why. That might be why. Thanks for ruining my favourite... Listen, it's mine too, and you know, you know, it's fine. To be fair, I can only have orange juice when it's cold, so I rarely smell the piss anyway. To be honest, I think it is piss. Okay, guys, no, I'm not drinking piss. Guys, I ain't, I ain't no piss drinker, okay? I ain't no piss drinker. I'm so tired, James had to leave my house today. Me too, and I'm also very tired. Bro, I'm having to, like, go outside, like, every single day this week. And it's fucking infuriating. Like, let me stay home. This is why I don't go into college, because I literally mentally can't fucking take it. I can't take going outside this much. It literally fucking, like, burns me. <laughs> like, it literally hurts. Orange, orange juice cartons are the, are the oceans for the... Right, what? What? Orange juice cartons are the oceans for the orange people. I don't know if I'm fucking stupid, but that is not making any sense to me. <laughs> that ain't that ain't making any sense to me. I'm helping someone with a hardcore Minecraft thing though. They need a love some Minecraft. They do. They do. Damn, love some Minecraft is best love for real, for real. For real, for real. You have, you have Love Some Minecraft and then you have Rocky Burr. Also, me and Rocky are pajamas duo now. Yes. We got the PJs. Ah! Oh, my fucking abdomen. Ah! Uh. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Ow, that really fucking hurt. I literally am aching so fucking bad. I can't... I move a tad and I'm like, ah! Uh. It's horrible. It's fuck... Ow, I can't get up. Oh my god. Hello? Hello? Make sure you don't get attacked by a baby zombie. Don't worry. Lofsa's too cool for that. James, you've killed Meraki. You have. You've killed me, James. You've killed me. This is all your fault. I expect 200 quid by tomorrow, okay? <laughs> I expect 200 quid by tomorrow. If I look shit and ugly in your fucking film, James, that is an that's another 100 quid, all right? If I look shit and ugly... You are giving me 300 quid, okay? I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. Okay? Okay? Glad we have this agreement. Glad we have this agreement. Why is my Twitch lagging? Shut the fuck up. There we go. The baby zombo's gonna catch these hands. Yeah. Bah. 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 You know? Just fucking bah. You know? Dude, dude's Rocky about to win an Oscar. I don't fucking know about that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know about that. Now you're a bit. Now you're pushing it a bit far. Okay. Now you're pushing it a bit far. I'm not that fucking great. Okay. I'm just. I'm just trying to exist. Bap 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 bap. You know. Bap. Oh, that. Bro. 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 One of the fucking um, guys on the set, though, was so fucking lovely. Just, like, every time that, like, he needed me, he'd call me darling. And I don't know. It was just really, it was just really sweet. <laughs> I don't know why. He just came up to me and was like, darling, you need to speak up because I can't hear you. <laughs> and I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The fight scene, though. Bro. Bro. Fluffy coat? Huh? Huh? Fluffy coat? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The fight scene though. Yeah, I hope it turned out okay. I'm not doubting you for a second. But I hope it turned out okay. Because <laughs> my my back can't take anymore. I can't I can't take anymore. The guy saying darling was he in a fluffy coat. I can't remember. <laughs> Listen, I can't remember what happened five minutes ago, let alone the fucking what the guy was wearing. <laughs> I, I don't I don't I don't I don't think I even know his name. Okay, no, I do know his name. I do know his name. It begins with T. There you go. It begins with T. If you kill a baby zombie, are you killing a baby or is it already dead and you're just pushing pushing it over really hard? That is true. How can you kill something that's already dead? 
But I see how I missed something. Oh, basically, um, I was acting on um, set today and I had to do a fight scene with um, two other people. Um, and it was, it, yeah. Raki got in, the, in, 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 a, in a fight, yeah? I got in a fight, yeah? Got a fight, yeah? In the alleys. In the alleyways. <laughs> I filmed it, yes. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Waiting for Obi-Wan to send over the footage. I'm sorry, who are you calling Obi-Wan? Who the fuck? Obi-Wan is so fit. Can we just talk about that? Like, you and McGregor, my god. That, that man. <laughs> that man, bro. I'd watch Star Wars for him and only him. I'm not gonna lie. Fuck Kylo Ren. Who, who cares about Kylo Ren? <laughs> you literally have Obi-Wan right there. You literally have Obi-Wan. That is all I need. That is all I need. You know, that's that's all I need. Just saying. Ready for the cinema, bro? That's gonna be freaky as fuck. Seeing my face on the big screen. That's gonna be freaky. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm still chasing Emma Stone. Honestly, valid. Emma Stone's great. Emma Stone's great. Guys, Rocky's gonna be in a cinema near you. Right, no, don't scare them like that. They'll run away. <laughs> They'll run away, they'll move to fucking, like, Canada or some shit, bro. I don't know, they might live in Canada, I don't know. They'll they'll move miles and miles away if I'm in a cinema near them. Yeah, no, they'll, they'll, they're scared, you'll scare them away, James, don't say that. Don't say that. Do not say that. Jesus fucking Christ, my bangs are getting way too long. I tried cutting my bangs, uh, just to, like, because they were, like, like, down here. But I can't cut them any shorter because my my i was about to say therapist <laughs> my therapist would get annoyed no my hairdresser would get annoyed so you know i'm featuring in my own film because no one wants to talk about mental health that sucks because i thought i thought a lot of people would be up for it you know like i'd be up for it but i'm acting in james's and i've also got a, not i'm not acting in my own but i've also got to do my own shit um and that's already fucking too much <laughs> That is already way too much. Like, I'm, I'm filming, hopefully, some tomorrow, because I needed to refilm some shit tomorrow. And then Friday, I hopefully should be finishing it. And then I only have to do editing. Fucking fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I'm acting in Rekki's film. Yes. Yes. I watch it after my, my level exams. Where's it at? If I tell you, I'll be doxing myself. <laughs> Because it's in my, like, well, my local cinema. It's in a, it's in a, um, local cinema. So, um, I will, I will be doxing myself and everyone else that's in the film. Um, and I don't think that will be, <laughs> I don't think that'll be very nice. Because it's basically, it's not like an actual, like, screen. I mean, it's a screening, but it's not like an actual film that's been put out into cinemas, you know? It's only in, like, one cinema. I think it's like a, you know release it to all of them how hard is that to like how hard is it to do that because i know you've obviously got to send it to get it passed by people make the dough make the cha-ching make the cha-ching i'd be set up for life bro i'd be set up for life i'd be set up for life it starts with sign and ends with ma oh, the dog sing <laughs> the dog sing half my film is done yeah pretty much half mine is I just need to reshoot and then do the ending. Hopefully. Hopefully I can get it all done on Friday. Because if I can't get it all done, I will fucking cry. <laughs> I will I will quite frankly cry. But to be fair, I'm not serving myself any um, anything good. Because I have a very small crew. I literally have my actors and myself. Because I don't, like, trust anyone else. Like, I'm a... I'm so shit to be in the industry. Because, like... I don't like anyone touching the camera. I don't like anyone touching the light. I mean, depends. But, like, I just don't like people touching my shit. Like, I feel like if I'm doing it and I'm doing everything, it, I'll get it how I want it to, you know? And if it fails, I can't... I don't shout at anyone. If it fails and someone's already done it, I'll shout at them and then I'll feel bad. So, I'd rather, you know... You know, I'd rather... No, because I'm the same. It might be the tism. <laughs> It might be the tism. It, honestly, it might be. <laughs> I will not be surprised. I I will not be surprised. 
But you can rent out screens for a few hundred. Oh shit. So maybe get Mr. Beast to rent them all out. Mr. Beast! Mr. Beast! Oh my god, I think it's a tism, maybe. Honestly, I will not be surprised. Just kind of like... I'm not like a perfectionist, but I'm just like... I don't know, I just... I want to do it on my own, you know? Like, just let me do my shit and how I want to do it. And if it goes wrong then, then I know that I can fix it, you know? Like... For an example, some of my footage went all blurry, and that's why I'm having to reshoot it. But I knew that I could fix that. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm, I'm special, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little bit special, okay? No, because we were only talking. Uh, we were only talking about when I blew up. Uh, oh my god, I can't read. Blew up at. Oh, I W. Okay, okay, I understood. I understood. Because of uh, the sound recording, yeah. That, ooh, that, that was, um, basically, chat, the story is, obviously, I can't say the name, um, but basically, I was doing a short film, um, and I put someone on sound, but it was fucking hell. I put someone on sound, and I, I had, like, a proper crew and stuff, because y you kind of had to. Um, and I had a proper crew and everything, and I put someone on sound, trusted them with sound, and they, they said that it was fine, it was recording, blah, blah, blah. I put it into the fucking PC, no audio was fucking recorded. And I was like, this man had one job. This man had one job, what the fuck? You know, like, why? Why, and it all, it caused so much fucking shit. Like, every, I say everyone was pissed off at him. It was literally just me, like, and, like, a few other people, but, like, bro. Bro, the fact that the dude records me That is true! He records his own music and couldn't record my fucking short film. Like, I understand different equipment and stuff like that. Like, I understand. I refuse to go on sound because I don't want to fuck it up. But, like, I, I understand, like, you know, it's different equipment. But fuck me, my dude. Fuck me. Because he always goes on about how good he is at sound. And he didn't even record it. I don't even feel bad about it. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> he, he deserved getting shouted at, if I'm completely honest. Because it's like, we, we asked you if it was okay. And you said, yeah. And it wasn't okay. It just wasn't, was it, love? It was not. It was not. I wish I, I wish I did cinematography, drama, or art, physics, maths, uh, CS, bio. Uh, it's too much law. Uh, should have put my arts as subject to, in my choices. Well, I I obviously would prefer doing cinematography and artsy stuff over like physics and math. But for one second, do not believe that it won't make you miserable. <laughs> Ever since I I was already miserable when I started college. But then I started doing the course and I, I got I got worse somehow. <laughs> like, I, I do not want to do anything ever again to do with fucking cameras and shit. I, I, I will have a PTSD meltdown <laughs> if I touch a camera ever again after this shit. It's horrible. I hate it. I hate the course with all my fucking heart. Bro, I hate it. I hate it so much. The only thing I feel bad about is the fact that I threw my phone and it smashed. Oh shit, it smashed. I did not know it smashed. Or maybe I did and I forgot. I don't, <laughs> I do not know. We're all hella stress on that course, man. Yeah, it's very fucking stressful. And it's not even the deadlines either that stresses you out. It's just like managing everything on your own. Like the paperwork, the research. I mean, actually, the research is quite nice. I like the research, in my opinion. And coming up with the idea, in my opinion. Because you get this, like, motivation. And it's like, yeah, yeah. And then you start filming it. You're doing all the paperwork. You're getting all your crew together. You're getting this, you're getting that. You're getting this, you're doing that. And, like, I can barely remember how to work a fucking camera. And it's just, oh. Oh. You know? It's just horrible. It's just fucking... But, titties <laughs> it make me less miserable bro it's made me more miserable and i'm quite i, I personally feel like i'm quite a creative person because in my like art gcc um 
my teachers would always tell me that um, they were very interested in like what I present because I was very different compared to everyone else because I was the um, the mentally ill one. <laughs> I was the very openly mentally ill. Like, people looked at me and was like, yeah, he's mentally ill. Yeah, he's definitely mentally ill. Um, so I, I kind of put that through my art because that's what my teachers told me to do. They were like, put that into your art and see what happens. And I did. And they were like, that's fucking sick because that looks completely different to everyone else's. So I, I'm, I feel like I'm quite good at, like, creative stuff. And like creating content, creating art. I'm not fucking good at art anymore, but I, I was good at it. But I just don't want to do anything ever again with my fucking brain. Like honestly, this course has fried my brain to the point that I can't come up with ideas anymore. Not even for Twitch. I'm just like, oh, I can't be arsed. Like all the time. That's why I can't wait to leave and just focus on Twitch. Because I feel like I'll come up with so much better ideas on Twitch then have to worry about my fucking course, bro. Bro. I had to start taking antidepressants because of that course, bro. I'm I'm not surprised. It's fucking horrible. It's fucking horrible. I'm going to uni to deal with this shit for another see that's another reason that I'm not going to uni. I, I'm like I'm not doing it. Soon I I was like soon as I can get out of education, I'm fucking I'm 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 out. I'm out. I'm fucking out. I've literally tried avoiding education as much as I fucking possibly can this past year. Because I literally cannot fucking cope. And I don't know how some of the people are still coping in that class. Because you can, you can literally walk into the class and see everyone just fucking, like, dead. Because it's just, it's not a happy fucking place. It's horrible. And I feel like that's quite a big part to, like, why the course is horrible. Because everyone's just miserable all the time. That's not everyone else's fault. But, like, people are just, like shit <laughs> because like the course has made them feel like shit like we've cycled through loads of teachers as well that have told us the same thing over and over and have like belittled us over and over and over and just had no organization at all me who tries to bring the class together yeah you're doing a great job at that james i'm not even in the fucking class anymore so you're doing an absolutely fantastic job at that not gonna lie not gonna lie no not gonna lie not gonna lie my mental my, my mental health isn't the best a lot of the time yeah my mine mine too <laughs> mine too but to be fair if you feel like something like that would help you then sure go for it because i i'm just personally talking from my experience and other people's experiences because to be honest it's probably the college that we're at I'm not gonna lie it's probably the college that we're at because the area that we're in is shit um everyone fucking gets stabbed 24 7 anyway so you know and teachers are underpaid as it is so you know you know you know if we were actually taught child, taught how to manage your crew we'd be sick yeah I, we were never taught how to manage your crew and make connections and shit like i said to my teachers multiple times yeah it would be great if i could talk to my crew because i have social anxiety so i feel bad like coming forward and being like do this do that and I'll, my temper will go fucking through the roof soon, as soon as something goes wrong with my crew. And I wanted them to teach me how to manage with that. And they never did. So I'm just kind of like doing shit on my own now because I don't know how to do anything. If you're mentally ill, gay or on the spectrum, you're guaranteed creative. <laughs> oh my god, I'm triple creative then. <laughs> we love the triple creatives in the chat. We love the triple creatives. We love the triple creatives. We started like great and then it went shit. Yeah, it was really good at first. And we were like, yippee! And then it all went to shit. I think it was when the first teacher left and we were like, oh! and then it, everything went bad. Everything went bad. I just enjoy staring into Seth's beautiful eyes. I don't. I'm traumatized by Seth. I'm traumatized by his fucking dogs being in his mouth. Like, why would he send that into my stream? He sent his dogs. His, his toes, his, t his tootsies in his mouth to me. No. Gross little gremlin. I might be sure, but he is a hobbit and a half. Jesus Christ. I don't, I, I don't, I don't really think we were taught. Yeah, we, we definitely weren't. We definitely weren't. I haven't learned anything from that course, I don't think. I've learned the basics of, like, cameras, and that is about it. 
That is literally, and I wish I was kidding. I don't remember anything. I don't remember how to work a fucking camera because they they just wouldn't go over it with me when I asked them. I'd be like, can you tell me how to do this? And they'd be like, you seriously don't know? And then walk off. Like, bro. I feel like I've wasted two years. Exactly. 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 It feels like I've literally wasted two years. Like, I do not... I, I do not want to remember these two years of my life, ever. <laughs> I want to remove it from my brain completely. I'm only double creative. It's okay. It's okay, King. At least you're double creative. At least you're double creative. Yeah, your teachers sound like shit. Yeah. They're shit. They're shit. I mean, to be fair, the, the original ones that we had were, like, actually okay. And then we hated one. And then he left and we got a new one and then we realised how good the old one was. You know what I mean? I wish we just... I feel like if we stuck to the original teachers that we had, I think I'd be a bit better. But I, I, I will never know. We'll never know. We'll never know. We'll never know. But yeah, it, feel, it feels like shit. Like, honestly. Like, the, the teacher that was... Well, teacher that was with us, like, today on set was talking to me and James and was like mentioning that we've been in education for like 15 plus years or some shit like that like I don't know I can't be asked to do the math <laughs> like we've been in education for a long time and like I was saying to him that like I'm someone that's never enjoyed education I have never fucking enjoyed it at all this is where we find out uh D is secretly spying on the stream oh D D, D is basically um, just like a like a little code name thingy, basically, so that I know who they're on about. Because obviously it's an REL person. <laughs> but to be fair, I will not be surprised. I will not be surprised because um, our teacher knows my Twitch. Yeah, that's fun. Don't think he follows, but he knows it. Gotta peace out and watch... Chelsea, you fucking wanker. Go watch your football. Sorry, I do not like football. Hello, D, if you are watching. Kitty! <laughs> Kitty! education system uh, has needed updating for so long, especially at lower levels. Yeah. It's, it's, the school education system is awful. And do you know what annoys me the fucking most about college and just school in general? They'll, like, post on, like, Microsoft Teams, right, for us personally. They'll post on Microsoft Teams and be like, Oh, we care about your mental health and safeguarding team is always here for you. There's always a counsellor. There's always an ear here for you to fucking listen to. Blah, 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 blah. Bull fucking shit, bro. Bull fucking shit. The amount of fucking teachers that I went through and said, I am dying. <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing good. And they just brush me off. They just brush me off. Hi, Raki. Hello, Cherry. Hello. How are you doing, Cherry? I hope you're doing swell. We're currently talking about how shit the education system is. Because it is. It's awful. It's terrible. I wish I dropped out. I wish I dropped out. Yes, they give us a, a biscuit once a year. <laughs> they do. They literally give us a wet paper towel and say, you know what? It's okay. Go have a cup of tea. I don't even like fucking tea. Piss off, bro. Piss off. We have a class group chat with the lecturer that's been more useful than the actual lecturers. <laughs> that is true. That is true. And like, that's something else. Like, when whenever there's a problem with like, um, I'm doing good. That's good to hear. I'm glad. I am glad that you're doing swell. But when whenever we've had a problem with someone in the class, that's like a really big deal. Not just like a. Oh, I don't like this person. I don't like that person. No, 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 no. Like, fucking tilt tallying, right? When it's a big fucking issue, when multiple people are coming forward and saying stuff about the certain person, they did fucking nothing about it. But add a teacher into a group chat so that nothing would happen. Like... Like, bro... Like, this fucking kid was stalking us. Like, multiple, like, fucking people in, in the class. Including myself. And it, and they didn't do anything about it. 
bro they didn't fucking do anything about it and we we like literally i went to the i think i was the first fucking person to go to the teacher i was like yo this fucking kid weird man this has pictures of your teeth see this is why i blocked him <laughs> this is why i blocked him like on everything especially for my twitch because it was like i i'm not i'm not letting people have access to that sort of shit bro i'm not I, i'm not letting people have access like i get weirdos on my fucking twitch streams as it is let alone someone rel doing it bro bro like those fucking like guys that um were on my fucking like chat like quite a few days ago maybe a few weeks that were like trying to get me to stand up so that they could see my outfit like and i'm I'm not being I'm, I'm being completely honest you gotta be a bit fucking smarter than that <laughs> you gotta be a bit smarter than that because i know exactly what someone is trying to do when they tell me to stand up you know they're trying to see what my body looks like like it looks fine thank you very much okay okay hydro don't die straight for real for real thank you for the hydrate dr order i appreciate it i appreciate it king you know when i used to send a video in the morning but i'd like be brushing my teeth or something oh yeah 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 it was it was screenshot pictures of us and it was like what like huh huh i've been so stalked a couple times before but uh i feel like maybe i should have worried about it but oh well maybe <laughs> maybe you should have worried about it because like stalking is a horrible fucking thing and if anyone's going through that genuinely talk to someone about it because it's not it's it's a horrible and scary thing and it's it's i i would i would talk about it in depth like from a personal experience but genuinely it is something that has scarred me for the rest of my fucking life like it's it was such a fucking scary experience and like to hear what he he's done to like other people in the course is even worse that that could have also happened to me or the things that have happened to me could have happened to them and it's just you know you know he followed me into the woods the other day bro bro that's fucked that is fucked bro bro bro, bro. We, we might need to contact the police to be honest even though the police probably wouldn't do anything especially in our area especially in our area but um I, i'm surprised the police haven't been called yet because i i can't really do anything much more than um what i've already done because i i don't go into college anymore so so i i i don't i don't speak to the guy anymore i completely avoid him because i i just i can't look at him anymore like bro oh my god i've like pulled something in my fucking armpit <laughs> pulled something in my fucking armpit i like lifted my arm or some shit and i like pulled something god damn god motherfucking damn fucking jesus ow oh my god what is happening can you go back into place please armpit jesus fucking christ jesus christ wait did you just redeem another galaxy color i'm cherry <laughs> did you just redeem another galaxy color oh my god I live in a pretty good neighborhood and no one I know uh, has been stalked. That is good. That is good. At least you're in a good. Didn't mean to use points. Oh, Cherry. It's okay. <laughs> do, do you have an English department? Yes. Yes. But it's also the fact that we live in a very, very shit area. So they will literally not do anything. More than anything they'll pat the guy on the back and say good one you know like i i would not be surprised if that happened because of the place that we're in like it's it's a bad fucking place of the uk it's fucking shit i hate it i'll be honest uh like with my bpd b yeah bpd uh like reality and delusions get merged and by the fact that he uh, sorry all the words are merging together it's not you that he did to me uh fucking hell right let me start again <laughs> I'll be honest, like, with my BPD, like, reality and delusions get merged, and by the fact that, uh, he did that to me, uh, meant that when I went into my last bad round of psychosis, I was convinced y'all were stalking me, so, uh, ah, so let's thank Mr. Weird Dude for that, yeah. It's, it's shit, it's shit. I've refunded your points. Yeah, Luffy! Thank you. I, I didn't know you could do that, Luffy. So thank you, thank you. So I was going to do it. 
and I, 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 I couldn't be asked to bring up Twitch, so I appreciate it. Oh, engineering! I thought you meant English. Sorry. Sorry, I thought engineer, engineering department. What, in my course? In my college? Get them to make a taser troll. Drops mini tasers behind you in case that person be following again. Oh. That is true. Might carry a taser. <laughs> Just bah! Yeah, you didn't expect that, did you, motherfucker? Get tased. Get tased. You are now on the floor. Being tased by me. Wrecked. Bro. Oh, you know <laughs> the noise that came out of me. You know the bitch from Despicable Me Too? That has the fucking like gadgets and shit and like she has like a lipstick taser, I think. Like it's like a little lipstick and it comes out and goes Bleh. Bro, I need that. Mm hmm I need that to stick onto my keys and be like, ooh, I'm doing my lipstick. I am an emo bitch. Bah Yeah, get felt. Bah You know you didn't expect that, did you? No, no, you didn't. You quite frankly didn't. Taser pellets in web shooter type thing, yes. <laughs> Bro, I could be the Spider-Man taser person, you know, taser bitch. I just need pepper spray. To be fair, pepper spray is a good shout because pepper spray fucking hurts. Like, you know, Markiplier? Markiplier got pepper sprayed and Markiplier couldn't even fucking handle it. And that means something because Markiplier is a buff dude. Like, Markiplier doesn't feel shit because Markiplier is a fucking, like, masochist. <laughs> is that the right word? Like, where he just seeks pain to see if he can handle it. And he could not, he could barely handle it. Because it hurt him so much. I'm pretty sure it was Markiplier, anyway. So, Pepper Spray's a good shout. Pepper Spray is a, pe pepper spray's a good a good shout. Oh, yeah, lipstick one, yeah. Remember, say gadget after you use it. That's what that's what we learned from Despicable Me too. Yes, yes, lipstick gadget. Lipstick gadget. I've got a really itchy face because I've worn so much makeup. I literally kept piling it on my face. Markiplier could kiss me on the cheek and I'd be like, okay. <laughs> Not Aereo. Aereo? <laughs> That's a chocolate bar. <laughs> Aereo's a fucking, like, chocolate bar or some shit. I'm not Aero, maybe I'm Demi. Wait, you have a girlfriend. What the fuck, Mark? That is true. But you know what? I'd keep it secret. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'd tell Mark's girlfriend. I'd give him another kiss before... No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen. Markiplier. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not a home wrecker, but no. I'm sorry. Listen, listen, listen. Markiplier's girlfriend is adorable. In fact, Markiplier's girlfriend, can you kiss me? <laughs> can you can you kiss me? I appreciate that. Can you both kiss me? Like, I'd like that. I'd like that. You know how like Ethan Nestor became friends with Markiplier through a backflip. You know, see how far he's come through a fucking backflip. All I need is a smooch and off I go. I become a famous Twitch streamer just from a smooch from Markiplier. Do you know how, bro, people would come into my chat being like, you're the one that Markiplier kissed. And I was like, um, yeah, but it will never happen. It will only happen in my dreams. <laughs> to be fair, it's not very often. Wait, just realize, what did you realize? What did you realize? But um, I actually haven't had that many celebrities in my dreams than I thought I would. Do you guys dream about celebrities and like people that like not, not friends or anything, but just people that like, you know, that are higher up on the food chain? <laughs> like rich people basically. If Amy kissed me on the cheek, I'll be like, yeah, true. True, Amy, Amy's, you know, Amy's just, I have to go because I'm modding, but, uh, uh. sorry. <laughs> but it's been nice chatting and seeing you again. Of course, of course. Thank you for joining in. I appreciate it. I appreciate it as always. It was nice seeing you. Hey, man, up? Hello. How are you doing? How are you doing today? I had a dream that I was streaming Minecraft uh, and I changed all my sound alerts to sounds of rap. That's a very interesting dream. <laughs> Glad you told me that. I realise I'm triple uh, creative when when Ryan Reynolds is in the room. Ayo. Now, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds, in my opinion, is overrated, but he's still a lovely man. He's still a very, very lovely man. I would stroke his jawline. 
you know, I stroke his jaw and I just go, Mwah, you know. And my fo my follower alert was Rat going, oh my goodness. So Rat kept following and unfollowing me. So the entire stream it was just Rat's voice. I feel like that is what would happen. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Hey, hello M. Hello M. Hopefully you're okay with me calling you M. But I struggle saying full username, so I just usually shorten them down to what I can do. <laughs> but yeah, I, I've I've uh, dreamed about Tommy in it before. Tommy in it's been in my dream. Bilzo has been in my dream, and Rambo all at the same fucking time. We were all in a hotel room, basically. I don't fucking know where. I, honestly, I think it was in like Florida or some shit, like a VidCon sort of thing. We we're all in a hotel room, and it was really cozy, and. I was sat on the bed here, Bilzo was sat next to me, and Tommy was sat across from me, but like laid back on the bed, and Rambu was like in the bathroom, like I could see like his face, but not his face, you know what I mean, like it was blurry, which is really smart my brain to do, because obviously he doesn't show his face. Yeah. Dr. Rana, thank you so much, King. <laughs> I appreciate it, King, I really, really do. And now I forgot what I was saying. God damn it. You know what? Fucking holy shit. They've given 32 gifted subs. Holy fuck. You are insane. Is your bank account okay though? I feel like I ask this every time. Is your bank account okay? I appreciate it, but is your bank account healthy? <laughs> but yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My brain was really smart for like blurring out Rambo's face, but I knew it was him. You know, because of how tall he was and shit. You know, you know? Um, and I was trying my best to make, um, Tommy laugh. Um, like, I was trying to make him laugh, like, really, like, bad. Like, I was just really trying to go for it, you know? And Bilzo, next to me, was pissing himself laughing. He was finding it really, really funny. And then at some point, I made Tommy laugh. And then I woke up. And it was just a really sweet dream. I don't know what, what the point of it was, but it was just a really sweet dream. It was really nice. I had a dream, hold on. Thank you for the hydrate. I had a dream with Techno in my dream once and he was just laughing at me because I couldn't focus on my homework. Then he patted me on the head when I woke up. Uh, when I woke up, I did like three pieces of homework. Oh my God, that's amazing. Techno was like, go do your homework, King. Go do your homework, King, which is the most productive I've ever been. I love that. I love when I have a good dream. Dr. Rona is a techno millionaire. <gasps> techno millionaire. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet though. I like I like the I like the de 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 determination. Not yet. You'll get there, King. You'll get there, King. Hopefully I will too. Hopefully I'll be a millionaire too. I wish. I wish. Hopefully. I'm manifesting it. I'm manifesting it as much as I possibly can. <laughs> But what, what else, what other, I mean, I've had quite a lot of sus dreams, you know, like a lot of sus dreams with celebrities, like, like, like weird, like, there was one with fucking Tom Hiddleston in it, the guy that plays Loki in Marvel, bro, I don't even want to talk about that one, <laughs> that one was like, weird, like, I was like, why is he here, like, he was also in my school at the time, and I was like, huh, I was like, what? I've always had full control of my dreams since I've been born, and I asked my parents. Apparently, I've never, ha uh, uh, no, I've literally never had a nightmare, even as a baby. Holy fuck! What is that like? What is that? I always have nightmares. It's really, really bad. <laughs> I usually get nightmares when my anxiety is so bad, which is, which makes sense, you know, which makes sense. Tom is so cool for real, for real, for real, for real. He's got a um. Obviously, season two of the Loki series is coming out, and I think there's season two of the Night Manager coming out, which I'm really looking forward to because I really like the Night Manager. I re I really really like it. I started rewatching it, and I don't know it's just really really cool. I really like the Night Manager. Uh, he was like, "Man, imagine not having any att uh, any attention span and just playing Minecraft all day. You goddamn loser! Now don't worry, man. I've been there. You got this. Yeah, we love techno. We love techno. Oh my god." Uh, uh, I want, I want to have, a uh, wait, it's all right. I want to have a nightmare though. Like, like, I like scary stuff. Makes me feel not, not dead. I guess so. That's an interesting way to think about it. 
that is an interesting way to think about it. I mean, I, I've um, talked about this on stream before, but I've experienced sleep paralysis before, and it was not nice. <laughs> it was not nice at all like it i guess it was nice in the way that i've experienced sleep paralysis now so i know what it feels like but i would definitely not recommend it to anyone <laughs> i would definitely not recommend it to it to anyone or um wish it on anyone like having a fucking massive fucking bitch ass spider like on me like drooling that was not nice because I'm, I'm arachnophobic so it was it was literally shitting me to my fucking core as someone who more or less only lucid dreams uh nightmares are not as interesting as you think when you have full control over your dreams it's not really scary it's just a feeling of anxiety like your brain is attempting to convince you that it's scary but you're aware that you're dreaming yeah see i just have really bad nightmares i i, I don't obviously i don't realize that i am um oh my god chat i don't think i fucking told you but i lucid dreamt like literally the other week and it was the fucking freakiest shit ever so i i i i have my friends there uh em and james and i had another friend there that i i also used to date I'm not gonna lie but they those three were there and i was in this like massive like back room style like school and I bumped into um, my my friend that I shall not name, um, and he was like, "Let me show you a ranking. Let me show you around." So I followed him, right? And then this is why I, why I started getting a bit um, aware because I was like, "This doesn't look real." <laughs> I was like, "Something's off. Hmm. Something's off." Like I was like, "No, no, 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 no." So what I did, I was like, "I'm gonna take the fucking piss here." And I opened up a door, just a random door. And I was like, hmm, yes, this one. And opened up the door, right? For some reason, I opened up the door and there was loads of people dancing in there. I, I, I do not know why, but there was just people dancing in there. But it looked like a really weird room, like to a different reality sort of thing. And then um, my friend comes round and like looks at me like with a dead face, like probably like, what the fuck? You know, like proper, like cold, dead face, and pulls in front of me and shuts the door, right? So then we go forward, and then this is where my other friends, James and M, come along, right? And I go to open up another door because I'm like, Dee! and I'm like, I'm gonna open up another one. And James steps in front of it, so I can't go to it. So they're clearly stopping me from like opening this door. Um, and he starts talking about something that I can't remember, and I, I just kind of go. I, I like interrupt him just to piss him off because I do that anyway <laughs> and I, I, I interrupt him and he goes and then he carries on he just looks at me like bitch I swear to god and he carries on so I try and interrupt him again and he keeps talking over me and he keeps getting louder and louder and louder and then this is where I'm like okay I don't like this anymore <laughs> I'm like I don't like this anymore it's not gonna stop so I, I force my eyes open I try and like, oh my god, it's such a weird feeling, like trying to force your eyes open from a dream when you're still in the dream. It's such a weird feeling. I can't, I can't explain that feeling of like opening your eyes and trying to force them open away from the dream. Because like you feel like you're opening your eyes, but you're still there. It's horrible. I hate it. It's the worst part. <laughs> it's honestly the worst part for me. When I finally open my eyes and return back to my own little world, I can... I can see my friend James still in front of me. I'll hydrate in a minute. Um, I can still see my friend James, but he's stood in my room, right? And he's still talking. I can still hear him talking. So as I open my eyes and he's talking, like he's literally like this, like looking to this way. And he's like talking, blah, 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 blah. And I can see him stood in my room, right? But he's like very like blurry, but I can still see him and hear him. And then when I like blink and keep blinking like this, every time I blinked, he goes like that, right? And then I blink again and his head goes like that and like twists. And then I'm like, oh! <laughs> it was literally like 2 a.m. And I'm like, oh my fucking God. And like that, sh that shit fucked me up for a while. Like seeing my like, g like a good friend of mine, like twist their neck like that. Ugh. Oh my God, I hate it. I hated it. I hated it. Right, let me hydrate. There we go. There we go. Right, let me catch up on your on your shit. Uh, 
Fun fact, you're, you're a lot more likely to get sleep paralysis lying on your back. I did not know that. I did not know that. It is quite comfy lying on your back, though, especially when you have back problems like me. That's probably why I get quite a few um, nightmares. Uh, like your brain is... Oh, I've already, I've already, I've already seen that. Um, it's kind of like you're watching someone... Uh, Wait, you're, oh, like your brain is uh, attempting to convince you it's scary, but you're you're aware that you're dreaming. It's kind of like you're watching someone play a scary game, but you, you have the sound muted. True. Like, sure, you can be like, damn, that's jump scare, but it's not really scary, if you know what I mean. See, I think it shits me up when I lucid dream just because of how not used to it I am. And I get kind of scared by the unknown. So I think that's what scares me, is because I don't know what is happening and why I'm here. And I don't like being in a place that I don't know. You know what I mean? Uh, that's why I wish I could experience a nightmare. Like, you're aware it's, it's, it's supposed to be scary, but it's just, like, not. Like, properly, the last dream I had uh, was a nightmare when I was seven. Jesus Christ. Have a good night, everyone. Goodbye, Dr. Order. Sorry I didn't see your chat. I was trying to catch up on everyone else's. But thank you for coming in, and thank you for the gift of subs again. I appreciate it. As usual, I hope you have a good night. Get some get some rest, King. Get some rest, King. You'll be a millionaire soon. Every night is closer to you being a millionaire. <laughs> smooches for Dr. Order. True. Platonic smooches for Dr. Order. For real, for real. Kith, kith. Kith, kith. Kith, kith. Chat, I think I'm going to wrap up stream anyways. If that's if I... Can I remember any more dreams that I've had? I mean, I've had quite a few that I have um, Loki in it. Um, I've had one where it was biblically accurate Loki, uh, where he had the ginger hair and shit. That was fucking sick. That was really cool. No, don't leave. I'm tired, bro. Can you not read the title? <laughs> I'm really tired. I'm really tired. I'll say a little bit longer, but I'm just letting you know that I will be wrapping up soon. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> no um but yeah i've dreamt quite a few times about loki but uh what's your favorite superpower dream oh um i don't think i can remember that <gasps> oh my god i just remembered one from ages ago i literally had it ages ago i don't know how i still remember it but i remember right marvel universe okay this was kind of fucking cool not gonna lie but basically, I think I just watched the Winter Soldier, basically, and I fell asleep during the Winter Soldier, right? And I I woke up in this fucking world. I don't know where I was. It must have been, like, somewhere in New York or something, I'm guessing. And I remember shooting shit out of my hands and being like, fuck, 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 you know, like, wonder, kind of like that, right? I was doing that, and I could see the little fuckers watching me do this shit right i could see tony stark captain america fuck it fuh, fuh. <laughs> i could see captain america tony stark wanda natasha even loki and thor were there like they were all watching and across from me bucky barnes faces from me he's got the mask and everything and like literally he's got his fists up like this he's got the metal arm i'm shitting my pants not gonna lie this motherfucker right i fly towards obviously not fly but like i like lunge towards him like in the air right this motherfucker grabs my neck and fucking poof, chokes my slams me to the ground i wish i was kidding <laughs> i remember waking up because my the friend that i had at the time the best friend that i had at the time really liked um bucky and steve those were her favorite like ones out of like marvel uh was bucky and steve right and I was like, bro, your boyfriend just fucking chokes on me to the ground. <laughs> if you shoot layers out, uh, lasers out of your eyes, you can see what you're shooting. Wait, wait, wait. If you shoot lasers out of your eyes, can you see what you're shooting or do you just see the colour of the laser? Maybe it's like tinted glass. You know what I mean? Like when you have like tinted um, glasses on. Maybe something like that where it just goes foom you know what i mean maybe it's something like that i don't know when you go blind but surely superman's not blind and he can do that i mean surely you see where you're looking i i, I see where i'm looking <laughs> i don't know 
I don't know. I wouldn't know. I've never shot lasers out of my eyes. <laughs> I'll let you know though when I do. <laughs> I'll let you know when I when when I do. Um, what? I don't know what other one. I mean, I I've had plenty of dreams. Rocky sees where he's looking. I am. The direction of your um our wave. Wait, the, the direction of the photons are away from your eye. I have no idea what you're on about. <laughs> I I if you're talking about science stuff, I'm terrible. I fell science. You know, right, that's actually quite funny because I cheated in my science test. I full on put, like, my GCSE, I full on pulled out my phone and searched up the answers in front of the teacher. And he was like, meh, <laughs> and turned away. <laughs> so I full on cheated with my phone, okay? And I still failed. How did I still fail with my fucking phone? Your eyes doing the photoelectric effect right i still don't know what you're about <laughs> <laughs> the photoelectric effect to the max and put pol polar what are we talking right <laughs> i'm too tired to understand i'm too tired bro this is why i took media because i didn't think it would take as many fucking brain cells because i have none I literally have none. I have none, bro. But yeah, I've had I've had quite a few dreams where like Tommy in it has been in my dream. Tommy in it is a com a common occurrence in my dream. And I have no idea why. Like it's a common occurrence, and I have no idea why. He just kind of goes hello and pops out of nowhere. This is why I wish I did media. Yeah, but to be fair, you seem quite smart. So putting yourself in media means that you're gonna be with a bunch of dumb bitches because <laughs> we're all dumb in there like literally we will say something to someone and we'll be like huh or like bruh what huh what did you say i ain't quite here now bro i'm so glad that we don't have to take exams because i'd be fucked because i remember i took um media for my gcse as well and um when we did the mocks i did really bad i did very bad on my mocks before my gcse's right um and when I did my mocks, I, I was quite good in media. I was one of the top students. Um, and because I, I was getting like better grades than like everyone else, you know what I mean? Um, and when I did my mock, my teacher was like, what the fuck? Like, this isn't you. What the fuck are you doing? And I was like, I just don't do well with tests. I do better with like coursework and like practical and stuff like that. I do better when I'm doing it instead of revising like that panics me way too much i just can't i can't remember anything and she was like okay okay and she helped me out and stuff like that and i i, I then got um like a level two distinction which is probably the highest you can get but not the highest you know what i mean like it's pretty like much the highest it's literally like one below distinction star because I think level two is the highest you can get, and then distinction is the highest you can get, and then distinction star is the highest, you know what I mean? But distinction star is very hard to get. Like, everything needs to be perfect. That's like 10 out of 10 marks, which is very hard to get on a media course. Um, but one of my friends did get it one, which I was I was very happy for. I got really itchy nose. Hold up. There we go. No. There we go. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. That's me most of the time, lol. Yeah. My brain is, majority of the time, very dead. Very, very, very dead. Chat. I think I'm gonna hop off. I think I'm gonna hop off. I'm very tired. I'm starting to sweat because I've moved my fan out of this room into my bedroom because I'm dying. Last thing I did in drama, I was... I was a milkshake bottle and my group all drank me. The school said the performance was really good and used it as a younger year example. What the fuck? Okay, thank you for the race suggestion. I appreciate it. Oh, they're on the SEC SP. Yo, what the fuck? Why does my Twitch look like that? What the fuck is wrong with Twitch? Why the fuck does it look like that? Why is it ugly? What the fuck is wrong with it? There we go. Fucking Jesus. 
My eyeballs. My god. Light mode? No, I have it on dark mode. It just did not load it. It was... Oh my god, that was horrible. That was horrifying. That was traumatizing. It's because sometimes it doesn't load the modules right for some reason. It's a pain in the fucking arse. I was going to say something and now I completely forgot. Oh yeah, the last school performance that I was in was like in like primary school, I think. Obviously discounting me acting in short films. Um... Why do you still not have the raid command? Because the raid command doesn't work for some reason. I tried doing a raid command and it I, I put it in myself and it did not work. Um, but I can, I, I have a little thing for it, don't worry. I have like a little note document for it. So do not worry, I'm getting it up now. I'm getting it up now. But yeah, the last like school performance that I was in, like on the stage, was literally in primary school. Um, where... I played, if anyone knows Bugsy Malone, I'll be quite surprised to be honest. It's quite popular, but like, it's quite old as well. Um, but I played Tallulah in uh, Bugsy Malone, who is basically the Femi Fatale sort of vibe. She's like the, the sexy one, even though it's children. Quite literally children. Yo! You just put your own one in. I love that. You know what? I love that. Or is that... Or is that my one? I'm not sure. I'm trying to get my modules to load so that I can raid, but it's not working. There we go. There we go. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, shit. I just... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're not going to talk about what I just, just did, chat. Hold on. Hold on. Just please, please hold on. Please, please bear with me. I just did a oopsie doops. I just did an oopsie doops. Oopsie doopsie. Oopsie doops. Oopsie doopsie. Oh no. Oopsie doops. Oopsie doops. Struggle, Rafi. I do be struggling. Anyways, let me try that again. Let me try that again. Right. This is the, the raid thingy. The, the raid thingy for the for the for the non-subscribers okay 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 and this one is for uh the the subscribers it's wacky shortly okay why would you do this to me <laughs> why have you put apollo this is for the subscribers i'm gonna vote on this and say say sugar rocky yes this is me yes thank you guys i appreciate it i appreciate it right who did you want me to raid who, 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 who? Let me see. Just B. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh, fuck, I spelled it wrong. Just B. I see them. I see them. There we go. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are welcome. Thank you, Luffy. Thank you, Luffy. Thank you, Luffy. Right, yes, I'm gonna go raid this person called uh, Just B, who is supposedly on the SEC SMP, which is an SS fucking stop hitting my headphones um sorry this thing keeps hitting my headphones and it annoys me so much um but yeah i'm on a smp called the sec smp and it's really cool um at the moment i'm not playing on it as much because i've i, I just I'm, I'm too busy <laughs> i am too busy so this is this is uh, another person that plays on the sec smp um you're really cool got him oh my god you got me that actually really fucking hurt, Jesus Christ. Anyways, chat, thank you for joining. I, I appreciate it. As usual, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, okay. Okay, I can't do that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my own copy and paste for the, for the Raki raid. There we go. Yes, if you copy one of the raid messages, that will be very, very appreciative. Um, because it means that we can harass their chat. Um, and the mods will cry because there's a lot of spam. <laughs> But yes, yes, thank you, thank you all for joining, I appreciate it, as usual, I should next be live on Thursday, 